Sassuolo plus 100 against Verona at plus 285. And I was just looking down, by the way, um, at Verona. And the last time they won, I was at school. Five straight defeats. Sassuolo of like... We've got no totals there, but we're expecting them to be two and a half. And we're expecting the over to be at minus 130 and the under to be plus 120. Verona, double chance, is at minus 120. Uh, Matty, you found something in this game that you like. Why don't you uh, share it with us all? Yeah, just real quick. Um, this is the last game of the round. I believe this is next Monday. But I, I'm straight up just going for corners here. The The line will open at 9.5. It might open at 10. I think that's what I posted it at. Um, whenever the line actually comes out, I will post it. But I, I'm going to be taking corners here. Verona, like I've said all season, they've been great for corners. Um, on the road for them this season, this is over 9.5 and, and over 10. Has hit in 3 out of 5. And same exact numbers for Sassuolo. So, we're looking at a combined 6 out of 10, which is 60%. And head-to-head, -head, the numbers for this are fantastic. We've seen 16, 11, 17, just a ton of corners um, the last two seasons when these guys have played each other. So uh, I'm just going to play it simple. I really like corners in this game. So that that is the only angle I can find in this one. I, I don't know who wins this game. So are you going over? You're expecting it to be 9.5, 10. If it is 10, you're going over 10 still? Yes. If it's 10 okay. and a half, I, I won't play it, but there are zero lines that opened at 10 and a half for this round. So I would be shocked if it opened at 10 and a half for some reason. Hey, but when they hear that the Prince of Corners is on it, they might just take a little bit of a uh, reverse view. Uh, Mina, obviously you've been like, cut this corners. out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just lock you out. Make sure they, there's no winners there for you. Um, Mina, for those that do want to play the money line, Sassuolo at plus 100, Verona plus 285, the draw at plus 260, is it really dangerous to try and pick the winner? Which one would you go for? Sassuolo, right? I'd have to. Verona haven't won in five games, and even when they've been winning, they've found a way to get beat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really interesting way of putting it. I really like their performance against Milan last, last week. I honestly thought that Milan had to really throw everything that they had in it. Um, for them to get back into the game. I, I do feel like if they can just capture what Verona is, like who they are as players, like and, and what this team is really capable of when they set their mind to it, their style of play would totally demolish Sassuolo. I'm talking about the old Verona. Yes. Um, the problem is, is that they haven't been the old Verona at all this season. But Bocchetti is somebody who's a Gasparini disciple. He has studied again under him, under Ivan Juric, and obviously under Igor Tudor, who are all really... What we call, what they call in Italy, is assault football. That really like killer duels, man for man. You know, running at two hundred kilometers an hour. There's a part of me that believes that they will, they will get back to their old ways because I, I already saw a lot of it against Milan, um, and I really thought they were combative, they were energetic, a lot more impressive than they have been. So. There's a part of me that wants to put just it's 285, right, for them to win. Yeah. That's well, minus okay. 120 for the draw and the win. Yeah, then you just think like, okay, Sassuolo have been fine, but they, and they have been good. And, and, and I lost big because I, obviously I was so stupid. I didn't think they were going to score against Atalanta. Um, but they have struggled to score in some matches if you defend well against them. We know Verona don't defend well. And I certainly think this is going to be a kamikaze chaotic game. And I think Sassuolo can get a goal. I just don't know why I believe in Verona win. But maybe I'm just optimistic about how well that they've been doing under their new coach. Yeah, and obviously you don't think they're going to win that much because it's not on our official picks. Let's have a little look at the official pick because, again, remember this game's on Monday, so the uh, lines will be out over the next 24, 48 hours, but we're anticipating around the 10 corners. And if it's 10, then Matty's going with over. If it's 9.5, he's jumping over. And if it's 10.5, he's going to leave it.